new toy. Always new toys at Rinohara. Uh, it's the first time I'm going to use a saw. Uh, I don't know how to use a saw except from watching YouTube videos. Uh, I have loaded in the oil, the two different kinds of oil this needs, uh, and the lubricant oil and the, the kerosene petrol mix. And um, I will be chopping down a tree that is in the way here uh, of the neighbor. The neighbors they harvest um, um, the, the plants, uh, bishako, uh, which is an uh, offering plant. And uh, they, they always use this path um, coming up and down to the site to, to get to where they want to go. And of late, uh, the, the, late the neighbor next door, the lady next door, she says that caterpillars have been dropping on her. Um, there was one tree here that was really close to the house. That, that's her house. Uh, she doesn't live there but store stuff there. Um, so I've chopped down one yesterday. The small, the, 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 the trunk was about this thick so I could use a hand saw. Um, but that took me a lot of time and I thought for the bigger tree today, I'm going to use a bigger saw. Um, This is the Chinese sumac. The Chinese sumac has a, it looks like chestnut, yes, but it actually has a, this little strand in the center. And in China, the diseased Chinese sumac uh, is used for medicine. Okay, I'm back to a part of the, the farm that you have seen before. This is the last field that I, I haven't planted with anything. It's uh, overcrowded with reeds, miscanthus reeds especially. Makes it very hard for anything else to grow. Uh, there's a huge layer of mm, branches and everything here. Uh, and I was, uh, when I first got the, the real bee cutter, the real bee shredder, I was shredding away there. So all the wood there, I'm going to cut off all the trunks uh, so that maybe Shu Sun's mom can use it for her bath. And uh, I'll wait for the leaves to wither a bit more and then everything will be chopped down. I guess after the rainy season. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll uh, all the branches and everything will become mulch for the ground. Uh, there were lots of small little flies in that corner and uh, when they bite, they are very painful for days. So I'm not going to deal with that corner yet. I'll do it uh, another day. But I'll chop off all the extra branches on the side. Uh, they're too close to the neighbor's farm there. So, that's to work. I have cut down the branches, the extra branches of the uh, 
the Japanese cinnamon trees on this side. It's very close to the neighbor's farm, so there wasn't a clear walkway. Now, if they, now that I've cleared it halfway, uh, this is what I, what, what I want to achieve for the rest. Uh, eventually, these trees will be chopped down because I want a tea field here. And after I chop down every, I, after I mulch everything on this side, I'll proceed to chop down some more trees there and all this grass. Uh, I'm going to stop now because it's the evening time and somehow the paper wafts and uh, one suzumebachi uh, yellow jacket has been swarming about me, like this one here. I don't want to irritate it further, so I'm going to leave. Uh, see you tomorrow. What day is it today, Marie? Uh, Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. Today's Tuesday. And uh, I haven't touched the... Um, the tree is there because uh, it's been raining a whole day and uh, while it was raining I took the, ch the chance to uh, go to the uh, driver's license centre to update my address. Uh, I'm now officially part of Rejimura uh, and that was since last week and I had to change my driver dri driver's license address uh, today. So uh, I just went to see the Takimotos and they were on the way of coming, I can see their truck coming here. They're coming here with the bamboo that I cut down uh, we, we cut down at my friend's place uh, because they were growing too close to the back of the house and uh, you, uh, we are supposed to repair part of the roof and they will get in, in the way. So they are transporting it here and it will become um, little rails for my beans. Murray had a fun day too. We went to uh, Tiger's Peak to uh, have a look at the rolling clouds. They also helped me remove the drum can uh, that was used to burn off some of the re uh, used wood and I'm very glad they have a very sturdy truck like this with a very dependable arm. So uh, here Mr. Takimoto, the elder one, is uh, walking around just like he was 18. <laughs> He's very healthy. Then I also had them uh, take a look at my uh, gutter, which is leaking where he is, uh, where Mr. Takimoto is pointing right now. And I'm explaining to him that the water comes down from this point. Uh, that's because the roof is tilted uh, in such a way that it makes it really hard for me to put up the, um, the, the gutter holders properly. So he's telling me uh, he'll lend me a tool to bend all the gutter holders uh, so that they can um, be aligned uh, by height. According to room. No, not sure what I'm saying here. I will be working on this very soon. And um, the elder Mr. Takumoto praised me for the work here, but I guess he's uh, being too kind. Uh, it was nothing, nothing close to what he would do. And I'm pointing out here that uh, the gravel does have an effect, but we probably need more gravel in the future. One of the best things about living so far out from the city is that I can see stars all the time. Uh, but I can't show you stars because video is uh, my video camera is not that great. Uh, instead, I'll show you what Mori does every night when I try to read. So, uh, <laughs> this, she wants a little pet for me. And just a little will do, cause then she'll go away. <laughs> and this is what we do every night. She asks for a pet, she goes away and comes back. Shake, 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 shake. And all the dust falls off, what a fur. Guess what appeared on my doorstep? Well, my entranceway this morning. <laughs> this is not a new car. I don't have so much money for new toys. Uh, this is a rented uh, K truck. Uh, K tora means uh, K truck. Uh, K means light. So this is the small uh, truck that I can drive uh, using my license. I can drive a slightly larger one, but this one would do. 
Uh, and this is from Matsuhira san, the, the uh, mechanic in the neighborhood. He just lives at the entrance of this hamlet. So uh, he, he drove it here the first thing in the morning uh, so that I could load, up, load it up with uh, garbage to take to the recycling center. So here we go. I'm going to protect, protect this because it's sparkling clean. I think it's from Toyota Rental Car uh, from the city. It's been driven up yesterday, uh, an hour from the city, and now it's here. So before I put garbage on it, I'm going to protect it with some uh, tarp. Right now, I'm going to take uh, us all to the uh, city hall, the Ryujin City Administration Office, and that's the, the village office. And I'm going to meet Mr. Gumi uh, to clear away my uh, rubbish. So, uh, yeah, here goes. Thursday, good morning, and uh, I have to take the truck to the recycling center again. This is the second day and the last day I have to, uh, uh, this van, uh, this truck. So I have to return it at 5 o'clock and let's see if I can fit in 4 deliveries to the uh, recycling center.
I'm going to try up here as much as I can. I lost count of how many times I've moved the truck to the recycling center but I just want to make this video because uh, if you're looking for cheap houses in, in rural Japan just know that there's a lot of garbage to be dealt with. The good news is that you'll be dealing with garbage with uh, mountains all around, blue skies, uh, the sound of crickets and uh, it's nice while you're, while you're clearing the garbage. Please uh, come here and volunteer. <laughs> the good thing about getting rid of garbage too is that after all the, all the garbage is done, you're left with very nice places to barbecue, to roam around. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So hot. I think, okay, the, the only thing I'm thinking about now is it's uh, gonna be 35, 36 degrees Celsius in Kyoto and Tokyo and it's now 31, 32. It's actually quite nice if you're not working. But I'm working. It's now uh, 2 o'clock and uh, I have brought the garbage to the recycling center uh, what, like two or three times now and this is going to be the last one, uh, the last time of the day. This is the fourth one I think and uh, just wood this time. Afterwards I have to return this at 5 o'clock to the mechanic so I can't do this for too long. I'll see what's left behind and uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll fill this up. Let's see. Okay, dokie. It's uh, it's the end. Uh, all those, I'll try to, I'm not sure, turn it to firewood, hopefully. I'm not looking forward to removing the nails and everything, but it's not as much as uh, when I started. And now the path is uh, sort of clear for at least one vehicle to pick up the uh, tiles and everything. So the Takimotos can do that tomorrow. Uh, I'll do that with them, of course. And this is the last truck. I'm dead tired. Last one. Oh, yeah.
Friday and most of the garbage is gone. You can see that. Uh, I have gotten the K truck, K Tora, which is the, the, the small truck, uh, back to the mechanic yesterday. And just want to give you a quick update today. I'm not doing anything special because it's been drizzling the whole day. The rain finally got more well, acceptable to stand under. Uh, just right now around 2 o'clock. And um, I. I'm quite proud of that. So the part that Nico carried up, all the heavy stuff, uh, it's all been transported to the recycling centre. Half of the wood is gone and I'll be uh, cutting that down into firewood with the help of some volunteers if uh, my friends do come. Uh, and I might have to borrow the Takimoto's uh, truck for one or two trips to the recycling centre uh, and then that will be a nice clear field. Uh, one of the things that I want to do is to have a, a magnet, magnet um, uh, to like pick up little pieces of metal, especially nails and screws that have been left behind. Uh, so I need to find a tool that has a magnet and a stick and uh, swipe, sweep through the entire property here. Especially around that corner where the fridge is, uh, that has a lot of nails that, that were broken, like nails that dropped off and glass that's gone to the ground. So uh, the next volunteers who come here will have a lot of tedious work to do, trying to pick up uh, tiny pieces of glass. Uh, there, there's one spot that has some tiny pieces and uh, then maybe stray uh, nails around. So that's one of the jobs that we have to look at. Uh, so what else? Uh, for Singaporeans, it's going to be a National Day weekend, so happy National Day everyone. Uh, for everyone else, uh, join me for Budhara updates next week. For today, I'm going to have my first uh, round of uh, COVID vaccine, uh, Pfizer, from the city hall. So that's been pretty quick here, uh, comparatively uh, compared to the rest of the country. So, uh, yeah. Oh yes, the corn has started to flower. I can see the ants coming in to pollinate all the florets. Corn. And uh, so far, they have not been eaten. So. Maybe that's because uh, I have sprinkled Maurice's fur liberally all around here whenever she gets her uh, brushing. So I hope that's the one keeping the, uh, the deer away. Let's hope they don't come back. Also, this is how the golden sesame flowers are looking. Golden sesame. More cosmos. You can see tiny little bees or flies, but cute little flies flying about to pollinate bees. It's now raining again, quite heavily, so this time for real, bye.